How's it going guys? In my last video, I drained the oil out of this tractor. First thing this morning, I'm gonna get the filter changed, put oil back in it. Oh, and something else really cool. Check this mower out. So Toro sent me this mower. They want us to run it this spring once we have grass growing and see what we think of it. Titan Max, 60 inch deck. We have a grasshopper. This is what we normally mow with. I haven't done a whole lot of mowing on this channel, just a couple times a little bit, but it's gonna be really interesting to compare these two mowers. Today's March 12th, so we're just starting to get some warmer weather. You can see the grass is getting a little bit greener, but it's gonna be a little bit till there's enough to mow. I'll go over more of the details of this machine and what my thoughts on it are once we actually run it. Okay, let's get the filter on this tractor. Oh wow, that was not tight. Got the hours on there. We were just having a conversation about a couple of details with the new heifer barn. We just had a meeting yesterday with our builder and our excavator, and they're actually looking to start next week if everything works out with the scheduling. We were kind of thinking it was gonna be happening more this summer, but they're ready to go now, so I guess we'll let them go if they're gonna do it. We're gonna put this tractor back onto the manure spreader now. This is the map from overhead. Dry cow barn, this is the shop. We're right here right now in my office. We're gonna be tearing this barn out and then building the new building right there. We were working on exactly where we're gonna place it and a couple other details with it. So one thing we're talking about is instead of scraping this dry cow barn out into this old pit over here, we're actually considering putting the scrape alley out of the other end of the dry cow barn and then across over into the pit. There'll be a little extension on the end of this manure pit on the new building. It'd be nice because we'd be keeping all of our manure at the other end and this area would just be nice and clean. The other thing is we want to run our dry cows out of this building out past this barn. So that way we'd be able to have a concrete alleyway across here. So it wouldn't end up being a mud hole or anything. Having a nice concrete alleyway would be a lot cleaner. So that was the idea we came up with yesterday, meeting with our engineer and builder. So we're trying to work out the details with that, make sure we have everything figured out exactly what we want to do. That way they can build everything at the right spot and everything for us. It's tough. We're trying to make all these decisions that are going to be set a certain way for many years to come. And we have this couple weeks here to make sure we have everything straightened out. Just I'll just double check the oil, make sure we have the right amount in. Yep, we're good. Try not to drive over our new mower. taking a skid loader. Yesterday I had the 7220 on the sprayer for the first time. Just had a little bit of spraying to do. Come on, girls. So what are we gonna do first? Well, we wanna put these older heifers the ones that are bred out into the pasture it's been so dry here the last week or two that it, the ground's actually dry and be good to get them out in the dirt there's not much grass there yet but so it's always fun to do this because they get pretty excited we have all these heifers split into two groups the younger side we actually have let out already hey girls go ahead head on out there it's nice being able to get them on the dirt off the concrete a little bit What 
we'll just keep them in this little area for a little bit till they work off some of their energy. Whoa, 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 whoa. These are all the pregnant heifers. The breeding age heifers are on the other side of that feeder and their pastures on the other side. So some of you are wondering with the new heifer barn if we're gonna be continuing to rent this farm. Yeah, we are gonna continue to rent this farm. We're actually not moving all of our heifers home. It's only gonna be the younger half. So all these, this age will be staying at this farm still. They'll be staying in this bed pack barn and then they can walk across to the feeder and they'll have the entire feeder instead of half of it. This group of heifers doesn't take a lot of work. We pretty much just let them go, feed them every day. They're really easy to take care of. And this barn's in pretty good condition, so we don't feel the need to build a barn at home for them. The younger ones, it's gonna be really nice to have at home just because we're working with them a lot more. Dad went out that way to make sure the fences are set the right way. And soon we'll let them out there. Yeah, we'll start walking. I remember making a video of this same job last year. Uh-oh. Nice and slow, girls. Hey, shh. All right, let's let them loose. There's the lone bull. Kind of a weirdo. So right now there's three sections of two acres out here and then another meadow there, another one there. And since we're gonna be moving a bunch of heifers home, we're thinking we're gonna need less. We're planning to tear some of this out and turn it into cropland. We're all out of breath. They're pretty much chilling out there now. Now we're gonna scoop out this lower barn. You can see what we deal with. The manure's pretty solid in there. We could scrape it into the pit if it was liquid, but it's not. But before too long, we won't be using this barn anymore, so we're gonna have to enjoy this job while it lasts. I just took four scoops out of here to get that spreader filled up. We're gonna throw two bales of bedding in real quick. Dad is spreading the rest of that bedding around in that barn. Things will definitely be changing at this farm. So right now we're mixing feed twice a day, keeping corn silage in the big silo and a protein crop in the little silo, either alfalfa haylage or triticale spring forage. And then we're mixing that in the mixer, running out to the bunk feeder out there. What's gonna happen now, we're gonna be 
cutting this herd in half from 75 or 80 head down to 35 or 40. And the problem with that is we're not gonna be able to keep two silos fresh. With these silos feeding off the top, we have to continue to feed out enough that it doesn't spoil on top. What we're gonna try to do this year is just feed out of one silo. And instead of doing two different types of crops, we'll just do one and we'll put triticale in it, which is the spring forage crop. It's kind of a in-between crop as far as the protein and the energy levels. They're not too extreme. So our nutritionist thinks we can get away with just feeding that single forage and then we'll have to give some mineral, but hopefully we'll be able to just run it straight out. We're not gonna have to put it in the mixer. Even though we wanna feed a little bit of mineral, we'll probably give that a different way. So it'll be reducing the feeding time at this farm from a half hour, two times a day down to maybe 10 minutes once a day. So that's gonna be nice. It's gonna reduce the amount of chores we have to do at this farm. I would eventually like to mix all the feed at the home farm and then we'll just bring it down with the mixer once a day to kind of simplify everything with storage. But maybe it'll work out really well with this single silo and we'll just continue to do that. I'm not sure yet. We got this farm cleaned up. All the animals are out in pasture. Should make work a little easier for us now. I'll haul this load out and then we'll take lunch. There we go. Man, look at those two beside each other. I think they're already pretty good friends. This one feels a little left out, I think. Ready to mow some yard. We'll have to do a little contest. You on the grasshopper, me on this thing, then once we get some grass. Got big old tires on it. Mm -hmm. We were just checking out the mower a little bit more. Just saying how simple it looks, yet it has all the features you want. It's a pretty sharp looking machine, I'd say. I like the color scheme. We have some cattle to move around and then I'm gonna mix feed. I guess I'll just show you guys what I was talking about with the new building a little bit. This building is the dry cow barn. It's right behind the shop. This barn will be staying. It was built about 25 years ago or a little less. It's still in really good shape. We have to scrape it, but definitely not going to be tearing this barn down. The one we are tearing down is the heifer barn. So what we were talking about is trying to figure out where we're going to scrape the manure from this building. But once we have the new building sitting right there, then we were thinking, well, we're gonna have to scrape this manure out through here still and over to the pit. So, you know, this area is gonna all be a nice open driveway, but we're gonna have to be scraping manure through the middle of it sometimes. So then we got to talking with the engineer. We we're saying, why don't we scrape this barn out of the other end? I have to pour some concrete at this end, put some curbs, and we could scrape the this scrape alley, that scrape alley outside, and then have a Nice concrete path straight across. And there's those little pink flags. You can see them, there's one right there. That's the end of the new barn. So we could, we'll put this concrete alleyway straight across here. We'll scrape the manure just out of this end, right across. This will be a nice flat concrete path. We kind of like that idea. We'll be able to run the dry cows out during the summer. They'll be able to take that path across there to their little meadow out there. And then we'll also be able to scrape the manure, keep all the manure at this end of the barn, down away from the driveway and away from where we're gonna be driving the mixer and everything. So I think we're gonna be happy with that idea. We just have to get some little details worked out, but it'll just be a little bit extra excavating to dig this out, pour some concrete. It's gonna look really different around here once the heifer barn is torn out. It'll just be some grass, a driveway there. Then you'll be able to see back to the new barn. 
get all this fencing torn out and everything. The plan is to start excavating next week. I'm gonna try to keep you guys up to date with the progress in the building as much as I can. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna go do a couple random chores, but yeah, thanks for watching.